is going on guys JD from New York here and this is WWE off the script number 49 part number two for your Saturday morning week ending January 25th 2015 thank you so much for joining me this Saturday morning man gonna be a big weekend and it's going to conclude with the Royal Rumble I can't wait Sunday night live from Philadelphia Pennsylvania at the Wells Fargo Center it's either going to be Daniel Bryan or Roman Reigns going on to WrestleMania 31, man. It's going to be big. It's going to be epic. It's going to be exciting. I'll be reviewing the pay-per-view immediately following its conclusion on the WWE Network. My review will be up around 12.30 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. I'll be working on that. I'm going to try and get that uploaded immediately so you guys have a review to look forward to because I know you want to going to talk about the pay-per-view, and all the big happenings happening in Philadelphia, man. It's going to be big, all right? I can't wait to talk about it. But if you guys are not subscribed here, man, hit that subscribe button. This is the number one source for WWE news and rumors right here on YouTube.com. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, I'll be tweeting live during the Royal Rumble, and I'll be tweeting out various important news and notes for WrestleMania season, man. So please go and follow me on Twitter if you're not Follow me on there. Follow me all across social media like you see in the layout right here on Off The Script. This is episode number 49. We're one episode away from number 50, guys. It's going to be big. I don't got anything planned, but what I'm going to do for you is continue bringing you the news and rumors that you enjoy every single week. 50 episodes goes out to you guys. You guys keep me coming back. You keep coming here for the news and rumors. I'm going to continue giving it to you like you guys want. Thank you so much. Moving on, guys. We got some news, not a lot, but some to cover this Saturday's uh, episode. I got news on Goldust and Cody Rhodes. Is Goldust retiring from in-ring competition in WWE? I got news on NXT, guys. Sami Zayn, Tyler Breeze, and Adrian Neville possibly ending up in the Royal Rumble. News on that. I got news on the return of RVD. When is he coming back? I got news on Rey Mysterio. And I got news on potential signings following WrestleMania 31 that WWE might go out and get, most notably, from Ring of Honor. All right? Let's start off with the Goldust story, guys. This is pretty interesting because I do enjoy the team of Goldust and Cody Rhodes. PW Insider has recently published a report Regarding the future of one of WWE's most prominent tag teams currently, Goldust and Stardust. The Rhodes brothers are two-time WWE tag team champions just once with Cody Rhodes working as Stardust. The duo dropped the tag titles at Survivor Series and they have faded from the tag title picture ever since. For the Royal Rumble, the two will only be in the 30-man Royal Rumble match. According to PW Insider Goldust, will likely be wrapping up his in-ring career in the coming months, transitioning to a role as an agent. As previously reported, this transition was expected to occur following the 2014 SummerSlam event, but was obviously pushed back. The transition is not expected to occur until sometime after WrestleMania 31, which occurs on March 29th, 2015. Until then, it is expected that the duo of Goldust and Stardust will begin to gradually fade away. For now, it is unclear if the two will have a singles match against each other, though Cody Rhodes is expected to stick with the Stardust gimmick and begin a singles career under that persona amongst or upon Goldust in ring retirement. So, Cody Rhodes, according to this rumor, okay, is going to continue with the Stardust character and begin a singles career under the persona once Goldust finishes his in-ring career. Now, the twist to this story. Goldust responds to the rumors that he is retiring. He posts on Twitter, I am not retiring, LOL. I'll retire when I am dead. There you got it, guys. There you got it. Whoever heard the story from, don't believe it. Goldust tweeted out on Friday, he is not retiring good i think cody rhodes as stardust and goldust the duo have a lot more to prove in the tag team division i think they are a viable threat to the tag team titles i would like to see them remain together as a duo and if they do break up i don't want cody 
to stick with the Stardust gimmick, man. I don't think that is main event material, okay? Cody Rhodes is worth so much more than just sticking around using the Stardust gimmick, which is a direct correlation to what his brother did back in the Attitude Era. I don't want it. I think Cody Rhodes needs to go back to being Cody Rhodes, you know, get a little bit more tougher, get a little bit more aggressive, and I think Cody Rhodes could definitely catapult himself into the main event scene if he wanted to. Under the Goldust, uh, under the Stardust, rather, uh, persona, I don't think Cody Rhodes is going to um, move up the, the WWE ladder anytime soon, all right? So it's best if they stick together as a tag team. Goldust has looked great. He gets better every time I see him. He's in great shape. He's doing DDP yoga. Um, back when Goldust first came back and um, he was with Cody Rhodes and they were fighting off the authority to get their jobs back, Cody Rhodes and Goldust were putting on matches of the night, man. Goldust himself was out wrestling guys that were on the roster younger than him, man, half his age. Goldust is a, a fucking needle in a haystack, man. You're not going to find talent that age competing at that level so well like Goldust. So it, it, it goes out to Goldust, and I commend him for sticking with it and getting better, man. You know, th there's a big thing about Goldust. You know, people put him down. They put down Dustin Rhodes for not being great and, you know, for being dressed as a fucking uh, a silly character dressed in face pain who's very outlandish. The man can fucking wrestle, man. And I do want to see him stick around for a few more years. He's got a lot more to give. Eventually going to give way into a agent. He's going to teach all the younger guys what he knows. He's going to be very knowledgeable to the younger guys. He's going to be a very, very uh, huge asset to the guys down at NXT, man. So Goldust being with the WWE is going to only help them. I'm glad he's sticking around. I don't want him to retire. I do enjoy the duo of Stardust and Goldust. And hopefully they do stick around. And eventually um, still mingle in with the tag team championships on the WWE main roster. Because I do want to see the tag team uh, division itself uh, be catapulted into some type of prominence, man. I want it to be brought up. I want it to, to flourish. And WWE has the pieces now to the puzzle where they could make a very, very formidable tag team division. And make it entertaining. So hopefully that happens. And I'm glad Goldust is not going anywhere anytime soon. Alright. Moving on. I got news on. Uh, NXT possibly being in the Royal Rumble, man, and this is only going to make the Royal Rumble even better. Last year, the man formerly known as Alexander Rusev, Rusev for you uh, morons out there, uh, made his main roster debut at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. With the WWE Network launch approaching at that time, it was seen as a tie-in with the promotion of NXT, which would be on the platform known as the WWE Network. According to PW Insider, this may be a trend that will likely continue. A report from the site claims that major talk backstage at Raw uh, that there will be one or two NXT stars finding their way into the Rumble match in Philadelphia. It did not go on to state who those individuals may be. NXT champion Sami Zayn alongside former champion Adrian Neville have regularly been working WWE live events, so it is plausible that they may be involved with the match. Tyler Breeze, Mr. Prince Pretty, one of my boys. Tyler Breeze has also had some in-ring time at house shows. Zayn is expected to remain in NXT for most of the year, but Neville's time may be shorter as WWE officials are still reportedly working on a new gimmick for him after scrapping what was possibly one of the worst ideas ever in a Mighty Mouse gimmick for Adrian Neville. This is only going to make the Royal Rumble better. I love NXT. I would love to see Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville, even Tyler Breeze, all make it into the Royal Rumble and mingle with the main event guys, man. I would love to see that. They're, uh, they are all capable of hanging tough with those main event guys. NXT in the Royal Rumble should be a thing every year because it is your best brand. You want people to watch NXT. People who do not know NXT should have all eyes on NXT. And what better way to get the raucous, the fucking chaotic Philadelphia crowd energetic and excited than bringing Sami Zayn and Adrian Neville into the fold, man. It's going to be fucking great. And if you want to showcase NXT and show everyone who doesn't know what they're about NXT, that's a great way to do it, man. Wonderful platform for these guys to get a taste of the WWE being in the Royal Rumble. So hopefully it happens and hopefully we see two of the three, possibly all three, in the Royal Rumble. Speaking of the Rumble, RVD has been tearing it up on the independent circuit well into his 40s. Headlining show after show across the United States. But as 
he has been a trend over the past couple of years. It appears he may finally now be ready for another stint with the WWE. According to an exclusive from WrestleZone.com, Rob Van Dam is currently slated to be an entrant in the 2015 Royal Rumble match. RVD has been rumored for such an appearance for several months now. The pairing of RVD in Philadelphia makes all too much sense. Van Dam crafted his following at the ECW Arena in Philly many, many years ago. And the rabid ECW fan base will surely be at the Royal Rumble at the Wells Fargo Center. And they will definitely be awaiting his return. Van Dam previously returned to the WWE at the arena for Money in the Bank in 2013. Van Dam was most likely seen, or most recently seen rather, on WWE TV in December, presenting a Slammy Award on Raw. It is expected he will remain with the company through WrestleMania season. He finished his most recent WWE run just after SummerSlam and works on a contract that allows him to stay for a period of time and leave and work independent dates as he sees fit. So RVD coming back at the Royal Rumble makes all too much sense, man. Expect RVD back in the WWE in the Royal Rumble match and expect him to stay with the company through WrestleMania 31. I'm not all too excited. It's going to be great seeing RVD in the Royal Rumble, but RVD back on the main roster. WWE really hasn't utilized RVD in a way that they should. I know he's a part-timer. I know he's back sporadically for a few months and then disappears and, you know, rests, takes a break, does what he wants, and then comes back. So you can't really put him into a major program just based off his contractual obligations. So WWE should really, really utilize RVD a little bit better. You know, put him in a nice small feud that, you know, we can see him wrestle and we can see his talent and he can give us great matches on Monday Night Raw. Maybe put him in, uh, in a match against uh, someone like, a, I don't know, one of the NXT guys. Bring up one of the NXT guys, put him against RVD. That would be a great way, uh, a great way to showcase the NXT guys on Monday Night Raw. Put him in something meaningful, man. Maybe a short stint as, um, you know, in the IC title uh, hunt. I don't know, man. Something with Wade Barrett, but that's all been done before. There's not really much for RVD to do anymore, man. That's, you know, that's, that's the thing. RVD has done it all. So everything you do with RVD pretty much is going to be the same shit that we've seen. Or it's not going to be exciting because nobody really cares about RVD being back. So being in the Royal Rumble, that's great. That's great because everyone loves the Royal Rumble. Everyone loves the chaotic nature of the Royal Rumble. But as for RVD on the main roster, there's not really much for him to do. So WWE really has to collectively think, if you're going to bring RVD back for WrestleMania season, give him something to do, man. Give him something of interest, you know, that would pique our interests. Hopefully WWE comes up with something, but RVD, expect him back in the Royal Rumble. Back in November, it appeared that WWE and Rey Mysterio were back on good terms. Following a rumored legal dispute over WWE extending Mysterio's contract, WWE reportedly had plans for Mysterio to return at the Survivor Series working one last storyline through WrestleMania 31. However, those plans were scrapped for unknown reasons. It appears Mysterio and WWE are back to square one. Later, Chavo Guerrero of AAA and its Lucha Underground series would stir the pot once again, teasing Mysterio coming to AAA. According to F4W Online, there is a small chance that Rey Mysterio returns to the WWE in the 30-man Royal Rumble match on pay-per-view. While the chance is very, very small within WWE, it is said that anything is possible in regards to Mysterio. In the likely event that Mysterio does not return to the Rumble, fans will likely be kept in the dark regarding his status for a few more months. Mysterio was part of the 2000. 14 Royal Rumble and was unfortunately the 30th man and final competitor in the match the Pittsburgh crowd gave Mysterio negative responses because of its displeasure that Daniel Bryan was not included in that year's Royal Rumble match Mysterio would go on to wrestle eight more times in 2014 with his last match occurring on April 7th the night after WrestleMania 30 nobody cares nobody cares man I'm done reporting Rey Mysterio the only reason why I reported this is because it ties into all the Royal Rumble news that I already have for you guys. So I figured I would throw it in there. Nobody cares about Mysterio. WWE obviously wants Mysterio on the roster simply to keep him away from Lucha Underground and TNA and Ring of Honor, etc., etc. They want him there so he doesn't go anywhere else. That is fucking selfish. Let the man go. If he's healthy enough to wrestle, let him go do what he wants to do. You clearly don't want him. 
You clearly have nothing for him to do. Anything that Mysterio does on TV is not going to generate interest during WrestleMania season because we're going to be enamored with Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker, Sting. So anything Mysterio does during WrestleMania season is going to be unimportant to anybody watching. Nobody cares. Let him go. Let him go do what he wants. Release him. Get rid of him. It's over. There's nothing more Mysterio can give to the WWE, okay? Yes, he's still talented. Yes, he's got a lot more to give the wrestling world. Let him do it somewhere else. WWE doesn't want him. They don't want to use him. They got nothing for him, plain and simple, all right? And finally, guys, to end this week's part two of episode number 49 of Off the Script, there continues to be strong interest from WWE in former Ring of Honor champion Adam Cole. There has been interest from WWE in the past that there's more of a feeling now that he could get signed. Cole recently got shoulder surgery in hopes that he would be good for a potential post-WrestleMania 31 signing. Cole going to WWE is not 100% at this point, though, but the interest goes both ways. He has reportedly told some people that he's resigning with Ring of Honor, but the deal has not been finalized yet, and with him out of action, there has been no urgency to sign the deal. WWE is expected to offer deals to other talents after WrestleMania 31, including former TNA, uh, former TNA star Tommy Crimson Mercer. He also had a tryout at the WWE Performance Center back in December. So there you go, you Ring of Honor guys. Adam Cole uh, may be joining WWE. Not all too familiar with Ring of Honor, not familiar with Adam Cole, but regardless of that, WWE might go out and sign him, amongst many others, after WrestleMania 31. All right? There you got it, guys. That is part two of Off the Script this weekend for Saturday. I got the remaining WWE Royal Rumble news to fill out on Sunday, guys. So don't go anywhere. If you guys want more wrestling content right here on YouTube.com, Joe Cronin, TRN, and my man Justin Labar, Josh Eisenberg, and Brian Gulish by your side, Chair Shot Reality at WrestleZone.com. They're getting you ready for the Royal Rumble. Make sure you guys go check them out on YouTube as well as they got exclusive videos going up on their channel that you're not going to see over on WrestleZone.com. And finally, guys, WrestleRumble.com. You guys want to win that grand prize, that beautiful WWE Royal Rumble Pick'em Championship belt. You got to enter. You got to play along. You got to put your knowledge to the test to win that belt, man. You're going to choose all the 30 participants you're going to you think you're going to be in the Royal Rumble. You're going to choose the winner, and one winner ultimately will be decided to win that championship belt, man. Let's have some fun with it. WrestleRumble.com, the Royal Rumble pick them back in 2015, getting ready to start WrestleMania season. Go check that out. Entry form is linked down below, WrestleRumble.com. Go fill it out. Put your knowledge to the test. I'm playing. I want you guys to play along with me. It's going to be great, man, so go check that out. I'll be back on Sunday with Off the Script Part 3 to get you guys fully ready for the Royal Rumble. I'll see you guys then. Until then, take care, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.